Hi, Natalie Hill here to tell you about some of the green features of Milagro co-housing. Let's start with the water elements. One of the things we've done is we have created basins, which are uh, concave areas of land between the sidewalks in which we've planted. And in those basins, our home, our roof gutters and downspouts direct rainwater into those so that they, uh, all, the la all the rain that falls on our houses and between our houses stays on our land. And it means, that means a lot in the desert. It means that our plants get a lot more water than they normally would. But there's also another reason why we have a lush uh, oasis, and that is our wetland system. We are not uh, hooked into the city sewer system here at Milagro. Instead, all of the water that goes down any sink or drain or toilet in our homes goes into a settling tank and then down into a wetland system that we planted with native bulrushes. And the microbes that are living on the roots and on the gravel turn that black water into gray water and we pump it back up underground uh, into an underground drip system between our homes. We also use many elements of permaculture, and uh, this mesquite tree is an example of permaculture. It creates habitat for native birds and insects. It creates shade that cools that uh, concrete area. It grows mesquite pods, which we collect and get ground into flour that we can make into muffins and pancakes and stuff. It, uh, it provides evaporative cooling because the leaves of any tree, when they transpire, uh, the moisture on the leaves um, evaporates and that cools the surrounding air. And this tree, because of all those reasons, has become a gathering spot. As you can see the trees, I mean as you can see the chairs uh, under it, so it actually enhances community. Now we also collect rainwater in cisterns the four on the upper left are behind our common house laundry room and right in the drying yard. And those are used to water community gardens, but also many residents have put in their own cisterns. Now, in addition to all these things, we have enhanced the water collection in the desert. And uh, this area in this photo was um, uh, completely without any plants when we bought the property. And then, of course, uh, we did even more damage in the in the building of the property, even though we uh, we roped off areas and kept the desert as preserved as we could. So what we did is we planted all of those trees and some of the shrubs that you see there. But more importantly, we sculpted the land and we created berms and uh, swales of raised areas of dirt on the downhill slope below plants. And so when it rains here in the desert and the water uh, rolls downhill across the land, it's collected in those basins. And so the trees and shrubs in that area grow much larger than they normally would. And it actually has enhanced the growth of shrubs there. Let's look at some of the other green elements at Milagro. We have uh, solar and uh, we have on the roof of the common house in the upper left photo, we have a large uh, set of solar panels that warm water, that heat up water. And so what this does is it increases our use of the pool by two to four additional months and makes our swimming season much longer than it would be at a very low cost because all we have to pay is to pump that water. We don't pay to heat it. In addition, every home has a uh, water solar panel on the roof and in Tucson where most of our days are sunny this means that we get very inexpensive hot water year-round. Our homes are also energy efficient in lots of other ways. The walls are 16 inch thick brick adobe which uh, retains its temperature so in the winter it's slower to cool down and in the summer it's slower to heat up. Our floors are also concrete and uh, together with the larger windows we have on our south facing walls, this enables the winter sun to enter the houses and warm up the adobe and warm up the concrete and provide uh, passive 
uh, heating to our homes in the winter. Now in the summer, since the sun has a different uh, angle of passage, the sun is more directly overhead and it rises more in the northeast and sets more in the northwest. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't even touch those larger south-facing windows. And we have our bigger patios and our smaller windows on the north side. Um, we also have uh, energy efficient and low water appliances throughout. At Milagro, we also share lots of resources. That's one of the elements of co-housing. We have just one patch of grass uh, where games are played and picnics and lounging around in the cool summer evenings. We jointly own a little electric uh, vehicle. It's kind of like a golf cart, and we use it to haul heavy things in and out of Milagro. We have one swimming pool that we share. We have a laundry room at the common house that many residents use to do their laundry in a drying yard out back. And uh, we have been donated a fabulous solar oven. It's huge, and it has a solar tracking device, and so it tracks the sun as it moves around. The other day, it was a pretty cool day. It was in the 60s, and I walked by, and the solar oven was at like 325. <laughs> now, we've also used innovative methods in our parking lot and in our, in our road. The road, I know it looks just like dirt, but it's actually not. It's a... Uh, it's, it is ground up rock, but it's bound together with a non, some kind of non-toxic polymer. So amazingly, it doesn't make dust and it doesn't make mud. And it's very easy to repair uh, potholes. We just stockpile a, a mound of that stuff and every uh, month or two we shovel it into the holes and the cars run over it and uh, compact it. In our parking lot, we have a different surface, and you can see the plastic cups. Uh, they're very durable plastic, about an inch uh, deep, and that's filled with a small pea gravel. And so that is also a non-toxic surface that's porous. And both of these surfaces enabled us to avoid uh, toxic and very hot asphalt. In co-housing and in Milagro, we also share a lot of work and fun. Um, we put in a sidewalk together, we hold parties and, and put on celebrations together. We uh, do various work and uh, uh, holidays together. Holly in the picture is a great one to loan uh, costumes for any event that we have. If you'd like more information about Milagro or about my house, which is for sale, here's how you can contact me. Thanks so much for listening. This is Natalie Hill.